the first of june thursday june the first i like thursdays because i was born on thursday so i really like thursdays for some reason like you know it's i like mondays and i like thursdays weird but oh i don't like fridays as well but i mean <laughs> happy first of the month happy june first i hope that may was a beautiful month for you and that june will be even more magical and full of beautiful things for you as you can see i just had breakfast oh my god this tuna salad that i made last night is perfection it had the perfect balance of crunchiness creaminess spice sweetness everything in one i actually started working a while ago but just answering some emails and messages and opening and laying up some things. I already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different tabs open. So I'm now going to go ahead and get to working. I think I might work here for a bit on my dining table, my dining bar. And after I finish here, I'm going to go. Well, not after I finish, but like after I get tired of sitting here. I'm going to go in my bedroom and work on my office space. So yeah, I just wanted to come in and say hi, good morning. And today we're going to my first event in the longest time. I used to go to events and that's kind of how I got into the whole uh, influencer content creator world here in Harlem by going to natural hair events and falling in love with them. And I haven't been to one since, I swear, like a long time. I don't know when even was the last time I went to one. I was supposed to go to one last year around this same time. But on this day last year, I had my second interview for where I currently work and I got the job. After two days, I found out. But I started to feel really sick and I tested positive for Corona. So I was not able to go to Paris to a natural hair event that I was supposed to attend there with two other people from Holland. So that didn't happen last year at this time. So this is my first event in forever. And I kind of got ready this morning, like, you know, did my makeup and stuff early so that when I finish work, I can just do like touch ups and leave the house and go. And yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm going to take you along with me. But uh, let's first finish my work week because today is Thursday and it's my Friday. <laughs> I just grabbed this smoothie, which is so good because it has ananas, mango, banana, cocos nut, and citron. Nice and creamy to give me some energy. Amazing! I had a few meetings that were really good today. A lot of information. I like days when I have meetings because then I feel like I'm talking and I'm very very important in my corporate job you know and today's kind of one of those days there is one brief that i need to for sure get sent out today this one is also done uh an overview on that one maybe those two things i can do t monday 
But maybe if I do have time on Sunday, I always say I'll do something on Sunday, but then I'm like on Sunday, no, I shouldn't do anything because it's my free day. But I need to for sure get one brief sent out again, all of that details like organized, and then I can start to get ready to leave the house because I just saw that the event starts at 6 but at 5 30 you can already start walking in and I was planning to arrive literally at like 6 something oh no 5 55 I think so I might leave the house I will leave the house earlier so I can arrive earlier and just you know mingle a bit before the event starts and I do need to fix my hair properly and my makeup again because it's just you know going through the day and yeah today's birthday is going really well so far i need to have a snack because i most probably will not eat later i actually want to have a tuna fish for dinner before leaving but thankfully i didn't do it because otherwise i'd be smelling like tuna fish and who wants to go out talking to people smelling like fish the memory that on this day last year i had my second presentation interview with Bugaboo and with my manager and my ex-colleague and I got the job and on this day as well I tested positive for Rona so I wasn't able to go to the what was it called again I think it was called Natural Hair Academy yeah Natural Hair Academy in Paris I couldn't go to it that was happening also like on this weekend last year and how funny it is one year later I'm in the company but like my role everything is settled um, and I'm going to a natural hair event here in Holland for one of my favorite brands. I'm going to show you that I already used them things. This is the second one I have because I got it in Curacao. And this is the Honey Hydrate. I love how it feels. I love how it smells. So this one is still brand new, so it isn't open. But it was 25 guilds I bought there on the island. How much that translates to in euros or dollars, I'm not sure. But I love this stuff. And... Now to see that I get to go to the brand and also, you know, having a presentation done by the CEO here in Holland this year, a year later after not being able to attend what I really wanted to attend last year. It's, it, it puts things into perspective. So, yeah, makes me just feel grateful and quite happy and reflect a bit on how life was last year and seeing where life is now. Hi beautiful people. So I am all ready. The hair is all ready. A super old wash and go I think. Well wash and go and also finger coils I did here in the front which I'm absolutely loving. I went to the sauna and also in a jacuzzi and my hair stood well so I decided to just leave it and I'm going to rock it like this all week because it's very nice and it's very big and I hope it gets bigger actually when I get out but this is what I'm rocking. I have on the vest that I was wearing earlier with my white trouser, my jean pants. I love a white jeans. I also put on my white heels and my toes are also pink which is a bit right on theme for this and it also matches my blazer and I decided to pair it with my zebra belt what else simple basic makeup look and I'm ready to go I also have here my purse that I'm going to be wearing which is super old from Aldo yes Aldo I was going to say Aldi but Aldo and we're going to leave the house now to go to the event It's a safe space. Most of you are women of color, black women, so you know, we don't have to double, double, double check, but I just did. So uh, Adelaide is just gonna finish her hair, but we'll play some music and you can just check how the process is going. Same for your hair. Yeah, one's the, one's the, the Moroccan hair conditioner, the other one is the Arbery And then you just mix it. Make sure you put this in as low as it will go. I always say Camille Rose is not just a hairstyle, we're a lifestyle. And being natural 
shouldn't just stop at your hair, right? Being natural is 360, it's inside as well. Go for it. No, we gotta eat. So, so you just gotta step it out on faith to be met. I gotta work my nine to five, and then I gotta work my six to 12 for myself. Yes. And so I just had to put in double the work. And I did just that, but I took my time to do it. And mm -hmm. I said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm throw up a website and see how it goes. Or thicker textures mm -hmm. because it hydrates and it softens, but it is activated with water. Now get it twisted. <laughs> it's a lot. It's made with over 50% real honey. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if y'all have seen the viral videos where people have actually thought this was honey, and they're putting it in their tea <laughs> and coffee, or they're going in their parents' kitchen and see this in the kitchen. <laughs> and I'm like, listen, it's more healthier than Cheerios or Frosted Flakes, but don't eat it. It's not honey. It's for your hair. But um, this is one of our top products. Um, it softens and um, it is, it's only a moisturizer and a hydrator, right? So if you want something to define, this is only your leave-in. It's not gonna define. You still have to come back on top with a definer. Activate it with water. Use a lot of water with this. So I hope you're doing fine. I am back home from the Camille Rose first party, first soiree here in the Netherlands and I am literally in cloud nine. The CEO herself, Janelle Steffens, was here and also talked and she was such a great inspirational person to have talking at the event that I'm on cloud nine. Like that was one of the highlights of the evening among other highlights as well. But her just talking and pouring life into us, expressing herself, starting the month of June at such a high note, I am I am on cloud nine to say the least. Like I am extremely happy for going to the event and putting in my coins and going. I have here two goodie bags. I'm gonna show you exactly what I got. One is a goodie bag and one is a bag full of or well, with three things that I bought there because you know at events the products are a bit more affordable so i had to go in but i'll tell you about that just now so definitely reusable a beautiful bag it has her logo which has a beautiful story behind it the first thing i have here is actually the the mask that i got to make i got shows um and the first group of eight people that could go up at one part at the mixologist yeah mixologist table it was called i believe and you can make your own product and this is a mask that i made with a few ingredients i can't remember exactly what but i remember one oil one scent was peach and something else but it smells absolutely divine can't wait to put that in my hair Cute. some marshmallows let's actually go ahead and give give them a try Ooh. One fell on that. <laughs> what else do we have? So, complimentary samples and samples. Her branding and everything is amazing. This one is a Curl Love Moisture Milk. And then we also have here a sweet pudding for kids. Looks like a nice product. I like the blue packaging. I'm obsessed with stationery, so that's amazing that we got this. This is a little notepad recipes for beauty that you can write on how handy is that that is super cute i love it and then we also have a booklet that has all of her products <gasps> that is look at her there she looks so beautiful look how beautiful she is what else do we have in here we also got a top a towel a towel that has camille rose on it how i hear it I needed one of these. I literally needed one of these. This is my new favorite thing. Like, she literally made us all brand ambassadors at the event. <laughs> like, whoever organized it, and if this is the normal, the bar is high. They literally made us all brand ambassadors. So we got a towel as well in the goodie bag. A spray bottle that's pink. And then we got a full-size coconut water leave-in detangling hair treatment. Mmm. You really smell the coconut. 
coconut water leaf and treatment and we got a pen and anyway so i had to go ahead and buy products because at the events the products are always more affordable and for these three products i paid 50 euros first thing i picked up was this curl maker because i absolutely love it like i love how it makes my hair feel super hydrated super also elongated i feel and i haven't used this in a long time so i need to see what this hair that i have now feels about this product and how you know yeah i will just go with my products that i'm currently using and my hair that i currently have i wanted to try something new and i wanted to try a mousse because i've been seeing the girls on instagram using a lot of mousses is that a word mousse products on their hair and i saw this line that i never really saw before in store at least yeah in store at least and i love their honey so i thought why not go and get something else as honey and i went first for this one which is the mousse spiked honey mousse yeah spiked honey mousse and then i decided to go with this honeycomb curl whip which is a texture defining super cream and also created with, uh, so this is a lightweight setting mousse, and this one is a defining super cream infused with honey and nettle, crafted to boost shine, eliminate frizz, and hold styles in place. These two will be coming near you soon in a video, and me sharing how I style my hair using this. Mm, mm, mm. So overall, the event was amazing. I have nothing bad to say about it. It was a really fun event. I felt so amazing. It felt so amazing to be around so many beautiful curly girls again. People that you have something in common with that is a product that's so simple but still such a big deal. Because living in the Netherlands, you can sometimes feel like you're the only one, or not the only one, but feel that there's not much of you around and when you go to these kind of events you feel like ah she's also beautiful and he's also beautiful and she's too is cute oh look at her makeup look at her hair like it's such a vibe so thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video if you haven't already subscribe and also follow me on instagram and i'll see you in the next one